Good morning. I'm Sammy Chimonahihi Aliyubi from the Eagle One Development Team. Welcome to Crash Course 25. We're going to be taking a look today at air ducts. Uh, ventilation is one of uh, the holy trinities uh, when it comes to our ability to map and source to, along with the uh, cables and pipes. Uh, these are needed everywhere. So I'm going to make a 16 by 16 square. Uh, I'm using a grid size of 8. and try to use half the grid size for these tile meshes. And uh, at 8, we can get a little bit more creativity. And uh, over here, we're, we're going to type in duct. Okay, it's already showing up for me, so we're going to double click that, and uh, we have here the basis of an air duct system. Okay, uh, now it doesn't really look like much right now, but let's go ahead and let's let's make some fun cuts with this. I'm going to uh, create a, a long extension. You can see that it's uh, going to allow us to create these cuts nicely by its own self. It's applying the material. Let's create a cube here. Let's uh, pull up another cube, and, and we're going to curve this up in a little bit, so there's a way to specify that. Let's go all the way across. Um, I'm going to create one more 16 by 16 section. Um, let's go uh, down here as well. And uh, I, think, uh, I think we're in a pretty good spot uh, to go ahead and just cap this off. Yeah, I like that. This is plenty. Good. So it doesn't really look like much right now, uh, but we just need to switch it up by going to Tile Properties Detail and uh, selecting Medium. Now this actually looks like an air duct system that uh, you can start to be proud of. Uh, this air duct system, though, does need a, a point where some ventilation can come out. So uh, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'll select one of these faces. I'll select one of these long faces. Detail. Click Vent. And there we go. Now we've got some ventilation, uh, and it sort of makes sense. Uh, I can add some uh, brackets, uh, and I'll, I'll add that later. Okay, but uh, for right now, we're just going ahead and we're installing this duct system. Uh, and there's more to it, though. This isn't the only way we can do it. This is a simple 16 by 16 air duct system. Uh, but I want to uh, go ahead and make sure I specify a couple of things. I'm going to take these faces right here. I'm going to right click them, go to Tile Properties, Detail, and we're going to turn this into a corner. Okay, I like this a lot better. Okay, yeah, same right here. Take these faces, right click Tile Properties, Detail, this is a corner. Okay, there we go. Now they're not going to bump their head here, and we, well, maybe they will. I don't know. You are six feet tall in this world, by the way, so uh, <clears throat> enjoy putting that in your uh, social profile. Uh, we have a corner here. And uh, one final corner right here, and I think we're going to have our ventilation system in this room ready to go, right? Uh, this isn't the only way, though. Uh, oops, not vent. I want to go to uh, corner. There we go. Uh, this isn't the only way to make a ventilation. Uh, 16 by 16 is one. Uh, let's go a little bit further, and let's add uh, the other dimension that you can make with this. Okay, you can also make 32 by 16. Same idea. Control Shift I, Alt Enter. Let's create another tile mesh. It's already set to duct. Uh, and uh, as I play around with this, let's extrude this up to actually 32. Uh, we have a 32 by um, 16 by 16. So let's. Uh, we can keep the grid size at eight, but I'm gonna. Uh, actually, yeah, let's keep it at 8 since uh, 16 is the lowest denominator here. All right, <clears throat> uh, there's another uh, set here that I like. Go to uh, Tiles, Assign Material Set, go Rusty. Okay, in this room, uh, we've kind of got a theme going here. There's some rust. Here's a little cleaner, all right? So uh, we're going to have the ventilation shafts uh, go ahead and account for that. So this ventilation, same exact thing. Okay, you're going to be creating a rusty set, though, and, and creating a rusty set. The same rules apply. You're just using a different material, and the sizing is a little bit different. Now, this is the basic. Okay, we can uh, switch this up, make this look a whole lot nicer in a second. Uh, but I just want to go ahead and uh, give you guys the opportunity to see how these play out. So I'm going to create another one down here. Uh, let's go one more across, and then we're going to finish it going up. And I'm going to press Shift-O to get rid of the lights. I want to be able to see this for now. All right. Uh, I can just do a mass corner change at once. So to take all the corners, and uh, let's tell them their corners first. So these ones here, and uh, let's say I wanted these ones to be corners. I think that's it. Okay, right click, tile properties, detail, these are corners. And then double click all the faces, tile properties, detail. Uh, let's go to medium. 
Okay, now medium, notice what it does. It's going to shift, and these tile corners are not going to work at the medium setting. So you've got to be aware, with some of these ventilation shafts, you might have to be very picky about which ones are medium at the rusty material. If you're using, uh, if you're using the other material, it's the same thing. It's all based on the dimensions that we're using right here. So that's, part, that's why I wanted to go through this. Okay, I can set these to medium now. Okay, and so now I've got a combination of low. I've got a combination of medium. And then uh, over here, if I really want to go ahead, we can select these tile properties detail, and uh, we can make these all vents. And now we've got a ventilation system that looks a lot nicer than it did before. And just to keep it consistent, I'll just select these ones. Same thing. Okay, right click tile properties detail, set them to medium. Okay, delete the faces you don't need. Okay, I don't need this inside face. I don't also need this inside face over here. All right, and uh, same with the other tutorial. I actually forgot there's a couple of faces on this girder that I did not delete. Uh, so it's a good practice when you're going through your tile meshes, you know, just find the ones that you're not using. You know, you can create your tile mesh and it's easier to create it with all the faces present but then just make sure you go back and delete it and clean it up. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, crash course tutorial. We'll see you guys next time.